kind of neglected this for the majority of the year and I need to get it under control because I don't want to waste the money I spent on strawberries and get some more strawberry plants so I'm going to store them in the house in the refrigerator in the bottom crisper this is uh, the strawberries laid out on the table I'm going to try to uh, get this done real quick before the roots dry out and I've got just over 50 there and at the beginning of the season I planted 50 starts and uh, this is what I've got now summer mother uh, plants probably about half mother and half runner now they're packed in their winter home and this will go in the refrigerator for well until spring this is home I saw these trays at Lowe's they had them in the recycle area and they allow customers to take various recycled plastic and uh, so I grabbed them I grabbed uh, 12 of these and that's what I'm going to plant my strawberries in I think it'll work out nice in my wheelbarrow I've got the fawn mix I'm using the soil mix for this year and that is a uh, half compost half composted rice holes and uh, it's uh, a pretty friable mixture thanks to the rice holes but anyway I've uh, done a video on this already and uh, that's what we're gonna try to try to grow these strawberries in what I've got here is um, some rayon I, well it says rayon string on the container there but the uh, rayon uh, is 100% rayon and they're from mop heads that you can get at Walmart. I've talked about uh, wicking in the past and these 100% rayon threads, they are extremely durable. They'll last a few seasons, uh, a few years before they start deteriorating and they wick water really well. Uh, well, you can see dangling is uh, one rayon mop head string and what I did was I went through and one side and then down the other side and I kind of left a little bit here to uh, provide uh, more water so this is uh, what I'm going to do uh, try to give it a shot and anticipate success but who knows we'll see I've got one done already and the good thing about rayon strings is that they can sit on the ground until it goes on the fawn and uh, those are my little collards I called but uh, yeah they can just sit there until I stick them on the fawn platform but I'm gonna complete all 12 of these and then I'm gonna stick the strawberries that have been in storage for well since 10 November and today is the 20th 20th of January so uh, over in December, January, so almost two and a half months, they've been in cold storage in the refrigerator. And so I'll get after it and uh, bring you back when, uh, when I've got some done. I've got the strawberries planted up and I've got, look, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, times six pots at 72. 72 potential and uh, they're not plugged into the fawn system yet I'm gonna water them on the ground here <clears throat> because I have to make uh, real estate available m uh, harvest some plants move some around in the system and then uh, find a full length for these to grow in um, but starting with this end you have um, the what I considered healthier plants and then as we came along down here in the third from last you've got some that had no leaves on them and they were kind of darker my guess is that uh, most in that six aren't going to come and then here on the last two those were runners that had no roots on them at all uh, but they had but they were green the leaves are still green so I'm gonna see how those fare on 18 December which was a little over a month ago a month and a few days I planted these in the pill bug planters 
These were also from the fridge, and I just wanted to show you what they look like now. After growing in these for one month of cold weather. Got some new growth down in there. 26 Jan update. Looks like some of them are popping to life. How extensive will be another discussion. We'll see in a later update. That one's the only one right there that seems to have no life or not much. There's a little bit going on here. Lots of strawberry potential here. The really cool thing is this one looked like it didn't have, you know, like these, like there's nothing going to come of it. And I've gotten three here, here, and here that are showing potential. And this is also kind of cool. You know how they talk about rooting runners? Well, that's not completely necessary, it seems. These didn't have any roots on them. And they sat inside the container in the fridge for two and a half months. And I plopped them in dirt with no rooting hormone. And, well, I wouldn't call that dirt. But it would seem that uh, potentially you don't have to root strawberry runners. You could pick them off, throw them in a refrigerator for a period of time, maybe, it's, I guess they call it chilling, plant them and potentially uh, I'd have to root them. And that's pretty good news if you ask me, because it's kind of a pain to root strawberries. For February, strawberry update. Here are all the strawberries that came from refrigerator storage. <clears throat> Every last one of them were in there at some point. Um, these on the end here, ones that are a little bigger, were pulled out about a month and a half after they were in the fridge. And uh, they're bigger. Um, and so they're also flowering right now. The rest, uh, you've seen several, several times in updates, and almost every single one of them germinated, including this one, which is the little bitty uh, runners that had no leaves on them at all. Now, they're getting a really slow start, and that one looks kind of iffy in the future, but, and they were in the fridge for, what, about two and a half months, I think. I'll just give you a look. So my conclusion is it's pretty easy to save strawberries. All you gotta do is rip them out of the ground and throw them in a container. Not super wet and not um, definitely not dry. And they will stay green and they'll pop back to life like these are doing I was going to keep this a little bit longer and produce some with berries but I can tell already that they're growing pretty aggressively 
and we're just now starting to get some warmer weather so I anticipate they're really gonna put on I don't know if this pot if these pot the way I potted them and um, using strings here was the wisest way to go about it we'll see but um, anyway it's doing well no one to produce this video and show you guys as I'm walking through my muddy greenhouse <laughs> and this is where their home is going to be eventually this is going to be a strawberry fawn and I've got the top two done and the bottom one will um, be strawberries in the future that's my hope this is Brent signing off strawberries on the vertical fawn overwintered in the refrigerator.